MMA odds breaker, I'm Frank Trigg. That is a California kid, Uriah Faber. Of course, he doesn't even own a shirt, so why wear a shirt during an interview? If he had a shirt on, it wouldn't have sleeves. So it just works <laughs> out that way. It's actually really cold out here. What? How, how's it cold I sweat through my shirt. I had a sweatshirt, so I put the shirt on, and then Dwayne made us go an extra three rounds. So I sweat through my sweatshirt. Now I don't have anything. Hold on. What do you mean he made you go an extra three rounds? You, you go in, you, you don't know what time practice starts and ends? He just m makes up another another set? Well, we went sparring, and then I went short sparring, you know, because I'm a I'm not trying to peak. And then we all started walking around and let Joseph finish out his rounds. And then he's like, all right, take off your gear. We're grappling. So I would already gotten rid of the sweaty shirt, put the sweater on. And now you're grappling so with your – Yeah. Okay. And that, that makes it even worse because now it's – what's the temperature like up there in SAC right now? It was like 43 degrees. Oh, it's the same in Vegas. Vegas is – everyone's complaining about the cold. It's like – it was snowing last night. It's like 40 degrees and snowing. Yeah. It's, it's styrofoam. It hits the ground. It goes away. It's no big deal. It's fine. It's not real snow. Let's talk about the holidays. Uh, I, I interviewed Danny Castillo and I interviewed, obviously, Joe B. And holidays for you guys are a pretty big deal. Because he was telling me that you have an alpha male Thanksgiving feast on top of whatever they have going on with their girlfriends and their friends and their families. They still have to come over and, and hang out with you if they're in town. Has it always been that way? Is it something new that Dwayne's there? Or, I mean, what's the... No, we, uh, you know, it always depends. There's, it's it's kind of hitting me. But when I'm in town, you know, there's a lot of guys that are... Right now, we have a guy from the UK. We have a guy from... Um, Tennessee, we have guys from Hong Kong, we have guys from Australia, we have guys from Brazil, we have guys from all over, so um, I generally do like a pre-ordered meal, and for whoever whoever needs to have a thing, I mean, they can come, come over and hang out, and a lot of the guys can hang out at app and play some games and, That's and hang out. But it's not required by any means, it's just available. Do you do the so. same thing for Christmas mm -hmm. too? Um, we have in the past, you know, there you, there was a time where everybody lived on the block, so we'd have like 16 guys that lived in the same row of houses, and, and a lot of the guys came from out of town, Alaska, I, Idaho, uh, you know, from all over, so we just kind of have a little something, we usually play some board games and hang out, um, but it, it really depends year to year. All right, enough about the holidays, let's talk about Michael McDonald. He's your opponent coming up here on UFC on Fox 9, good news is... Uh, Joe, I think Joe B has said it best so far. It's a it's a sparring session that you guys are gonna have because it's in your hometown. It's just a bunch of people sitting there watching you. So you get to walk yeah. out, and it's just down the street from your house. Are you checking at the hotel on Tuesday like everybody else? Or are you gonna stay home? I think I'm staying home. I mean, I, I made Bert Watson makes us do the pre weigh in, as you know, where you have to get up in the morning and go show them that you're not so over that you're gonna miss weight. And so, uh, you know, I'm probably. The night before weigh-ins, I'll probably stay at the hotel, so I don't have to drive all the way to the hotel anyways. But uh, I like to enjoy the, being at home, comfortable in my own bed. Be nice. Your own TV, your own toilet, your own toilet paper. Yeah, I know. I know how you are. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> where is Michael McDonald the most dangerous that you see? Well, I mean, there's no secret. He's really accurate with his punch, and he's got power. So that speed, accuracy, and power makes him a really dangerous opponent. In the first round especially, he comes out, he kind of rolls, and then he does, has explosions of, of, uh, of dangerous, like, spurts of punches. So, you know, he tries to catch you with one and then just keeps on firing. He's probably one of the best guys in the UFC at, at swarming when, when the – you know, when the, he smells blood. So I'll be aware of that. Uh, luckily, I'm one of the most durable guys in the sport, in the division for sure. Yeah. And uh, I can punch, I can kick, I can wrestle, I can submit. So uh, I feel like I'm the more well-rounded fighter for sure. You are you are absolutely the more well-rounded fighter, but you're also getting up a little bit in reach. So he can hit you a lot before you actually get to him using your grappling and wrestling background that will tear him apart once you get inside. The, obviously, Dwayne's got a bunch of drills for you. I know you don't want to share the drills of how he's been how he's been getting inside, but how much time did you spend once you knew this was your opponent? How much time did you spend with Bang going? Okay, here's here's the the game plan that we're going to establish. Here's what we're going to do, and, and going through that whole process of here's what's new for this training camp, learning how to do particular things, whether it's getting in, getting out, getting out of the way, what you know, getting away from the swarm, whatever it is. Um, we worked a lot on on the specifics, working with his opponent, and, and knowing you know, how to reach him. 
So Dwayne, Dwayne has some really good drills for that. And, and uh, you know, making sure that my defense is strong, my footwork is good, and, and my conditioning is up to where I can, I can, you know, close the distance. I can stay outside. I can do whatever I need to as long as I'm staying safe and, and delivering my own offense. So uh, we do have some great drills, and, and Dwayne's been instrumental in, in making sure we, you know, make it instinctual. He's been almost become kind of a folk hero because of you guys. Like he, he was retiring, wasn't really sure what he was going to do, was kind of in that middle ground living up there in Denver. It was kind of, I got a lot of skills, but I just don't have any more inside. What I'm going to do, you guys brought him down, made him a coach, and you guys were on this incredible win streak all of a sudden. Everyone's talking about how Alpha Male was the guys that always showed up in the championship rounds but could never win them. Now all of a sudden you guys are showing up the championship rounds and winning them and getting through, and we're going to see that problem, you know, the, the, the uh, DJ and, and Joe B fight coming up same night. It's going to be an incredible fight no matter who wins, but we're going to see the best of both guys. He's become yeah. like a big, like a lumberjack almost, like a, like a Paul Bunyan type for you guys because any, anything that's, that happens with you guys goes back to Bang. It's always, oh, it's because of Bang's there. It's because Bang's doing this. Is that how you designed it to make him feel comfortable, make him come inside and go, look, Dwayne, this is your home now. Everything goes through you. Or is it just happened because it's just the way that all the guys are talking about it? You know, one of the things that I told Dwayne, and, and I'm I'm a guy that <clears throat> is pretty good at seeing talent, and I, and I realized that that guy is very technical. He's got a lot of knowledge. He's intense. He lived by So, you know, part of what I told him was, hey, man, we're going to come in and we're going to talk about it. We're going to blow it up. We're going to make sure that everybody knows that the kids are going to do media push and everything else. That's a small part of the beginning. Everything after that has been results. You know, we, we, you know, of course we've been training. At, at the time, I was ranked two in the world. Joseph was ranked number one. Chaz ranked number one in the world. So we're still right in the same place. Uh, TJ's been climbing the world. Uh, but, you know, he's a great situation. But Dwayne implemented his Muay Thai system and a lot of thought and structure in their practices. It's the same exact schedule uh, as before he was there. But we got him kind of being full on hands on, but yeah, it's been by design to talk about it. But the the winning streak has been uh, a lot to do with Dwayne, I think, and and uh, the things he's brought to the table. All right, we'll let you out of here, Uriah. I know that you got to get in the shower and get get. I know you're starving. You're gonna go eat, but um, check out MMAdraft.com. It's one of Uriah's projects for helping out amateur athletes uh, make the jump into and, and expand themselves and getting better. It's MMAdraft.com, and then your walkout tee is available at TorqueOne.net. Is that right? That's right, torque1.net, and uh, you know, we got all sorts of cool stuff there, so check out Torque, and check out peoplefinders.com. It's crazy. It's funny because uh, you can use peoplefinders.com for all sorts of crazy stuff, but <clears throat> the bottom line is now anytime anyone talks crap on Twitter and have their real name on there, you can find out where they live, what they're doing, who they Hold on. Is, is People Finder one of your sponsors? Is this one of your, one of your, one of your sites? This is one of my sponsors. That's, I was about to sports. say, holy crap. That site's yeah. huge. I get advertising for that site all the time. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. You know, you know what is one of my one of my companies? I just joined up with them and became a partner is dmemorytag.com, and that's an awesome – it's an awesome new technology. So check it out. It's basically you can make a sticker. You have an app on your phone. You can scan, scan a barcode, make a video, and then talk about anything. So I could walk around and – have a, one of those on my forehead, and if, uh, anytime somebody scan it, I can do like mind your own business. The video would come up, or I could send out a postcard or uh, or an envelope, and um, I don't know. They're really cool, man. I'm I'm, I'm pretty pumped about that new company. So we got thememorytag.com also. Thememorytag.com. I'm yeah. gonna check it out. Yeah, I like. I actually, I'm interested. I'm gonna check it out myself. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. All right, you're right. Thanks for coming yeah. out here at MMA Draft or MMA uh, Odds Breaker. Um, you're doing a great job over there at MMA Draft. I really appreciate it. And then uh, good luck against uh, Megan McDonald. It's going to be it's gonna be a great fight. I can't wait. Uh, this whole card up there in Sack is stacked. I'm very impressed with the way they match made everything and put the guys on there, especially getting all you guys locally on that card as well. So have fun. We'll talk to you soon, bud. All right, brother. Take it easy.